three, two, one. One day he'll get over doing that. Hi, Rilu, it's your favorite Kiwi here. I'm going to show you how I put a design on a tote bag. Come on over. We are going to first choose our design. Got some lovely designs here from Appliques with Character, of course. Here is a new one that's coming out soon. Uh, it's Peter Pan, Never Grow Up. Uh, I'm going to select it, rotate it so that it's up the right way. And since it's just one color, we are all good to go with our editing, which is great. End edit. Now, before I go to sewing, there is a button here that a lot of machines have. It's called a basting stitch. And what it's used for is to hold down the um, fabric and everything onto a hoop if you float it so that it doesn't bunch up while you're doing your embroidery. It keeps all the edges out. But I'm not going to use it for that today. I'm going to push it and show you a different way to use it. I use it for my positioning. So I have the design and I have the basting stitch all ready to go. I'm going to press sewing. Now what I like to do uh, when I do a basting stitch with nothing on it is I get a little bit extra of the bobbin thread out and then when I put it back in, I like to hold on to the edge. It just gives uh, the stitching something to hold on to. I like to pull a little bit extra of that out too so that you're actually going to get this nice catch and you can feel it being pulled and then it's gone. That way your machine doesn't stop when you're doing this basting stitch. If it stops, just press cancel and start again. It's no big deal. It just doesn't sense it's catching on anything, so it stops to make sure everything's threaded correctly. So we've done this basting stitch. It's coming up to a close. We're going to let it finish off. Stop. Move to where it's going to go next and press stop. I'm going to take the hoop out of the machine. And we're going to go over to here. All right, now I have a tote bag here that I picked up from Michael's. I've opened it up, just undone the side stitching, ironed one of the sides nicely, and that's where we're going to put our design. So what we're going to do now is I know that I want it kind of centered on this tote bag, and now I know exactly where on the hoop the design is going to be. So I can line up these things on my bag to make sure that I've got it centered. And I can say, see, okay, the design is going to start here. See, there's the line. The design is going to start here, and it's going to stop around here, which is nicely centered. I just eyeball it. You could be more uh, thorough if you need to, but uh, I find that eyeing it is a pretty good way of doing it. So I'm going to crease up here right at the edge of my hood, uh, at the edge of the hoop. And just pin a few pins just to hold it in place. I like to do the top, maybe one at the bottom, and nicely flattened out. Don't pull it because you don't want it to be too tight and then go back once you've unpinned it because then that will make the stitching See, and now I've realized that I'm not quite centered. This is a nice part about pinning and not hooping, is you can always go back easily and fix it. So you get your fingers like that, that looks about right, and repin. Two, three, one down the bottom, just Pulling it so it's not buckled, but don't pull it too tight. Do one side and do the other side. There we go. So we've got it nicely hooped. So I'm going to pull the handle in like that so I can get it under my machine properly. Flick it on in. Make sure my handle is tucked all the way back out of the way. And then press 
start. Now that's going to show you that it's going to go all in here. It's not going to be anywhere near the pins because the pins are all on the outside of the basting. And we'll be back. Hi, we're back again. It's all finished up. We've uh, done the entire thing. I'm going to take it out of the hoop now. And it should be nicely lined up. Now, I'm going to bring it over here and show you how I finish it off. Unpin. I use tear away because I like being able to just rip it off the hoop. Just like that. Get rid of the hoop. Turn it over. Clean it up a little bit. I don't bother too much because of what I'm going to do next. Now we all have seen the iron-on cloud fabric that you put on the back of babies' shirts and the back of shirts so that the threads don't scratch them and make them uncomfortable. Well, I like to use it on the back of these totes so that it's nice and clear for them. So I have a piece here. And what I like to do is put it all the way across. That way it's two less sides that are going to pull up and eventually come off. So I iron it on. All the way to the edge. Just like that. Make sure each edge is nicely ironed down just like that and we have it finished on either side next I'm going to trim off the excess here and on this side just like that Put right sides together and reconstruct it. So I get that one, get the two folds that are already there from the last time it was done and line them up. Take away all the stitching from the last time when I undid it. Bring it over to the sewing machine. So I've got it all lined up nicely here under the sewing machine, back and forth, back and forth, try and just go along the same line as there was before. Back and forth here. And then I like to go one more time right in the middle. Nice double stitch. Of course if you have a um, serger you could use that and then I get the other side grab that one grab that one put them together flatten everything out nicely and back and forth here back and forth here line it up All the way up. Back and forth. And then go one more in the middle. Some scissors. Trim these nasty edges. Sometimes if I line the bags as well, you could even use a um, binding on here. Make it a little nicer as well. And then just trim up. Okay. Grab the middle. Turn it. And there you have a great little tote bag for kids to take to 
sleepovers, put their toys in, put their treasures in, go to the library and get library books with. And we're all set to go. Ta-da! Hope to see you again soon and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.